is a fashion statement in black. Well, Victory is Berlin-based fashion label. Uh, we're based here in like Köln. Uh, and we're specializing uh, in uh, clothes that are made from black color. We are focusing on black color. This is the original idea that I started as a student already. Um, I think it's a great identity of the brand. Um, it's just a fashion statement. Um, black is an interesting color. It's aggressive, mysterious, but at the same time, I think it's very um, laid back. Well, Victor start, uh, I started with the idea of creating a fashion brand uh, that I just want to design clothes that I want to wear. Um, the type of clothes, um, of course, the, the black color comes from that as well. Um, and I always loved the idea of harness. Leather, leather is a big uh, part of uh, my, my designing. So all this ideas were, were shaped into one brand. Um, I didn't have a lot of sources, I didn't have... Uh, I started from zero and um, it's, for years it, it built up very nicely and um, we created a like, very beautiful identity um, of Victor. What I like about Berlin is that people put much more effort uh, and money on how they look during the night. They're much more creative, um, they're much more daring. Uh, being naked um, in a club, it's nothing new. It doesn't, like, we've seen it all, nothing really shocks us anymore. So it's just about expressing yourself, and people, I think, really like to express themselves. Um, especially during the night when we feel the most free in the club um, when you're drunk or you're high and you like you forget about you do forget about the real world the real problems and you just want to feel good as well in your clothes and this is the essential as well is of my brand I want to make people feel good about themselves and I think this is like as a designer uh, as a clothes maker I think that's like um, that's my goal. Berlin has something as well. Um, this subculture, this queer culture um, that I feel very comfortable to live in. And uh, besides all, all, all the parties and like there's a lot of queer, queer movement here happening and that makes me feel very comfortable too to live here, to create here, um, and Berlin offers as well sex positive um, parties, events, which I think it's, they're very important for, for uh, our society because they are opening eyes, they are, we are, ta they are talking about taboos and um, things that they, they're, the issues that they're, we really need to talk about. I will constantly look for, for new people, especially locals here um, in Berlin, um, because there's so much creativity happening. And I think it's important to support each other, uh, because if we want to support each other, like who else will? What I want to do with my brand is to design a unique uh, point of view, a unique voice. So I do combine and I'm very, very much inspired by BDSM world, but at the same time I make clothes that they're wearable on a daily basis. I make sweatpants as well. I made tank tops uh, that are still comfortable to sleep in. Um, and then I do bondage elements um, and accessories, leather goods as well. So what I want to do with my brand is to to show um, something, some fresh point of view, some some fresh stylings between BDSM, leather goods, and everyday clothing. To have a lot of a lot of clothes here, a lot of. 
things to play. So every person who comes to my shop um, can always find something for themselves. And I think this as a designer and as a brand owner, I think that's very important. Fashion business, I think it's very, uh, in general, it's very hard. It's one of the toughest industry to actually succeed to work. Uh, in a normal conditions uh, that you succeed with your vision, your ideas, um, you have to be on the right time when I'm right place for sure. Um, you have to stay very creative and you have to work hard. Um, it really is how they say hard work pays off. It's an art to, to go through to, to go through all of these um, problems and still manage and still um, produce and still stay creative. Fashion shows are very big projects. Uh, they take really a lot of time, a lot of money as well. A lot of people need to come, come together, start working together. And I think that setting this up is very, very beautiful. Um, to see the creative people coming together for like one big purpose. When I uh, make fashion shows, when I start making them, um, I always uh, think of like which new material I want to use. Um, and of course the inspiration, I really love this, insp uh, the, this process of, of brainstorming and um, because there's so many different ideas that I have that they're just there in the cloud and then it's on me to just like connect all the dots. I think it's pretty really beautiful that on a finale when everybody comes out, it's like a whole army of of this mass. And then you see the entire collection, how it how it goes. I think it's super beautiful. My last fashion show, Dawn, um, was uh, something um, in my mind the greatest that I ever did, that I ever achieved. Everything really came together as it should. We presented on Berlin Fashion Week. I dedicated this fashion show to my um, nephew that got just born and his name in English is translated um, to Dawn. And I really want to take this moment and show this um, show this collection inspired by Dawn. The way that um, it was accepted was very beautiful. We presented in a um, Delphi Theater here in Berlin and we presented it as an independent event. We always do a model call um, and people apply if they want to be a part of it. And then we select um, the ones that they fit in the idea uh, of the collection. And um, this is basically how we found, how I work with models. Usually they just want to be part of something interesting, something good, something daring. I think it's very and a lot of times it's very liberating for them as well to be part of something that is uh, fetish inspired fashion um, because the projects, the, the fashion shows are usually very daring um, and I really love this community as well when people come they have they're a little bit shy sometimes but they they overcome that and um, they show their their real their real selves and um, it's really nice to see how people get comfortable um, very fast in my clothes. I see Obektra in within next years, um, hopefully, to expand, to find more retailers, to get more satisfying customers. That I will still have this beautiful support, um, and that we will grow with the same pace that we were growing for the last years. So I will be able to express myself.
as an artist, as a business uh, owner. Obictor is strong and I think it's gonna get stronger and better and bigger.